No cussing. What's your name? Come on, Tay. What are you doing right now? I'm playing basketball. Is that your favorite sport? Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? I'm Pay and then the So who's your favorite basketball player? I'm KD. Oh, Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. How, why him? Because um, because um, he um, he tells me to play basketball. So this is our food pantry. Where does all this food come from? Um, all from donations. We don't buy any food. Oh, so people are constantly donating. Constantly donating. Is it like typically churches or like what? Uh, mainly churches, uh, but a lot of people that have volunteered with us in the past, they always come back to drop off food. We actually have someone in particular that drops off milk and bananas every week. My experience living in Montgomery County, financially, it's been, rough uh growing up especially when i was younger it was a lot worse uh it was hard food was hard to come by um sometimes when we're going to bed like with no meals going the whole days with no meals sometimes my mom would eat my dad would need to sacrifice for me and my little brother so uh there's actually there's a large homeless population in montgomery county you know i think the mindset is because it's such a wealthy county that homelessness would be rather low. Um, but that's not the case. This is our living room. We also have our piano for some of the kids to practice on. You know, we have some of the paintings that some of our, uh, the children of some of our clients have done. So I think the biggest issue in Montgomery County is that the minimum wage does not really match a living wage. We all know that the county is very expensive. I mean, one bedroom apartments can be easily $1,400 a month. And who's going to be able to afford that if you're a single mother or a single parent household and you have to afford food, child care, um, and all the other basic necessities? I have this job for many different reasons. I started it, I started working there last year when I was 14, just to go make some money for myself. But then over time, like, my mom, she didn't have a job. And my dad was in and out of work, so I had to really help support my family. Uh, financially wise, I would just break home paychecks and I would have to just give them all the money I got. I couldn't keep anything for myself, which I'm probably fine with helping out like that. My name is um, Vanessa Flores. I work with So What Else. We're a nonprofit. We go to different locations around the DMV area and we go to low, low income households and we set up camps for kids. Why do you choose to come here for spring break? Because it's fun, like, it's fun and we get to play the wrong. They're kids. Like, first and foremost, they're kids. And I want to pitch out that they love and feel and all those things, all those great things. I worry, I worry, because some, sometimes you hear stories, you hear horror stories about these kids and how um, the environment that they're in and being in that environment at such a young age can affect you. Being in an Asian family is always culturally expected to get really good grades, so I always have to focus, but with the added pressure of trying to help provide for my family, it's a bit stressful. So I, had, I took two APs in 8th grade, three science classes in 8th grade, an economics class in 8th grade, and I had to work two jobs. For the people that say that everyone in Montgomery County is rich, well off, that they got it better than a lot of people, some people in this county do, they do have a lot better than other people, but it's a big misconception that everyone has it well off. Uh, so many people in this area, just very poor, just hopping houses with their friends, just, just to stay off the streets for real. Um, nah, not everyone's well off. Yeah, Sweden. Nah, not everyone's well off. <laughs>